Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I will share with you how to implement the web notification for your web business. I just did it for one of my websites. It was a bit complicated to put in place, but right now it's perfectly working and I'm very happy to share that with you. So what is a web notification? Basically, it's a nice and very efficient way to reach your audience, to send a message to your audience, to send a link to your audience, whatever it's user or clients. Um, before that, we do that with uh, maybe with email mail or with telegram group or with youtube or with whatever but with a web notification basically the the, the user or the client get notified directly on their desktop by having a pop-up window even if they are connected if them if their browser is connected or not they will receive it as long as they are connected to internet but not only the desktop but also the smartphone smartphones they receive a notification exactly like any uh, app will send a notification so it can be a you can uh, um, set up the the vibration the sound and etc the logo that they will see at the top is like uh, any notification on the smartphone so this is a very very smart way so how to implement that first before i show you how to implement that i show you an example of the notification that you uh, the user will receive so basically you send or your system send a notification. So I'm going to show you here, for example, I will generate a notification. Um, on that website, I've just produced analysis of some crowdfunding investment, and I want to broadcast those analysis, uh, analysis to the one that may be interested of it. So instead of sending email that a uh, user may not open or be spammed or whatever, uh, I just send notification. So I click on OK, and then the notification has already been received. You know, I've, I've heard my, uh, my smartphone and here you can see that uh, a notification has been sent here and the user can click and he will access a website. Okay, so here you see a second notification because every browser that has that have subscribed to the notification system will receive it. And I, uh, for, the, um, for the test, I uh, register my Chrome, but also uh, Microsoft Edge. So, and then the notification is done. So this is this will be an impression an impression on the user desktop, but also on the smartphone. I receive it on my on my smartphone. Uh, okay. So um, so how to implement that now? Okay. Not easy, huh? not easy. But if you if you follow step by step, you you uh, you will be able to do it. First, you need to install Minish link everything is free here okay and if you have any problem i will uh, add all the link in the description i will put also all the code in the description of the video uh, on my Git, uh, github and if you want to to ask some question or if you need some help some coaching whatever you will find everything in the description of the video so first you need to install minish link so minish link you install it uh, it depends on your system me i have uh, ubuntu basically you have composer you do just do composer require you just type this this one Okay, and then it will install the the Minish link, which are all the libraries that are uh, needed in order to uh, make it work. Okay, that's one. Number two, you need to generate a private and public key. Okay, uh, so you just um, create uh, put the three line uh, on the PHP um, uh, file, and you just load it, and you will re uh, and uh, you and you will receive actually your public key and private key, and this public key and private key will be needed in the next deployment so next deployment how it works so let's first have a look at how it's supposed to work so basically the first thing you have to know is that the user must subscribe to your notification he must activate the notification and subscribe okay but it's pretty simple it's uh, almost transparent so i will reset the, the, um, the notification on my website okay and here I will clear the JavaScript, okay? Clear console, okay? Here you will see all the debugger, okay? So this, it's like a brand new page, okay? So on this web page, web page, I have activated the notification system. It means when the user will reach this, this page, he will be asked actually to activate the notification. So it can be done page by page, for me, this page is important, but it, it can be for your whole website. As long as the user arrive on the website, then the website will ask, hey, would you like to activate the notification? Thanks. Okay. Me, I put it on, on this specific web page. So I reload and look at what will happen. So the notifications are not allowed yet and they are not granted by the client. You can see here the status is default. Okay. And 
show notification, there will be this pop-up that you have already um, seen, probably seen for other websites. You see show notification. So user will click either allow or block. If, it's, if, it, if it clicks blocks, then it's over, it's done. It, it, will never, it will never receive notification, okay? If it clicks allow, you can see what's happening. Okay, I've added some, uh, some log here. So, status default, subscribe to notification server. So he sent, so this client sent a message to the notification server and he sent an endpoint. What is an endpoint? This is the equivalent of an email. It's like a, it's like a key. And if you have this key, this, if you have this endpoint, then you are able to send any message to this client, to this, actually to this brother. Even if the browser is closed, it's, it will be it will still work. Okay, so this is the endpoint, and you can see here it's it's here. Okay, so this is a key. It's like a public key. Okay. So what do you do with this with this uh, with this key? You have to store it, because later when you will want to send a message to all your customers to all your users, then you will have to loop on all the endpoints and broadcast your message. Simple as that. So let's have a look at the technicalities. Okay, so number one, I created some, um, some function. Okay, so this is the, ac the activate web notification. So this is a PHP function. Okay, but actually this is, um, this is a script. This is a JavaScript. Okay, so this is on this is this is on client side. So let me let me explain a little bit. The log that you've seen comes from that. So here, activate the web notification. So I put the status here of the notification. Notification uh, for uh, for the new brother. It's like it's it's a, it's a new functionality. It's a native functionality. Okay, for every brother. Okay, for uh, HTML5, etc. So here. Request permission. This is a pop-up that you that, that you've seen, you know. So if it's not there, then I create an alert. Hey, you must uh, you must activate the notification. Blah blah blah. And this is the status you see granted, denied. So we just catch the status. Okay. So this is the activation of the notification at the big every time the user uh, load the page. Okay. So I put that into into a PHP a PHP function. Okay. Once that's done, then What's going to happen? We need to register and we need to send the endpoint to send the agreement of the user to send it to our server in order to store the endpoint and so that we can reuse it later. Okay, so that's how it's done. So basically, it will hit a server. I call the, the, the server web underscore notif underscore server dot php and he send all the data okay so you see there are two functions function number one activate web notification and in this function i will i will talk about the, the second function later so in this function you have two steps the first step is the permissioning okay Act, uh, ask for the permissioning of the notification and then send in case it's granted send to the server okay that's the first function What's happening on the serv on the server side? Basically, what you, the only thing you need to need to do at this stage is to store the key. Okay, so here I just in created a table. So I need to create a table. I will show you uh, how it looks like, and I will in I insert the web notification subscription to this table. So let's have a look at the the table I created. Yeah, here. Okay, so here you see I, I, I start to catch uh, to catch a subscription. Let's have a look at the table on dev environment. Okay, so this is it. This is the table. So the table is pretty simple. I put the insert date, the status. Status, I'm not using it anyway, but in case, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in case they change, uh, they, they grant or, or stop uh, granting the access, etc. Maybe I can manage the status here and do some more extensive um, management. But anyway, what well, the most important thing is the endpoint that is here. Let me let me show you this 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 endpoint. Okay, so I just edit it what once. 
Okay, this is an example of endpoint. So basically, I store absolutely everything. I store all the J, all the JSON, uh, JSON file. I don't really care because I'm going to reuse it the same way. So I store, I store everything. What, but uh, yeah, what is important is to have the key from the from the user, and it's it's allowed uh, forever. You can, uh, you, yeah. This is uh, this is uh, I will be able to send notification. There is no limitation of time. Okay, so that's uh, that's it, and we will capture and all the all the, the endpoint here for all the user. Done. Then, then that's it. That's how to capture it. Okay, that's how you uh, you, uh, you 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 capture. You get all your uh, endpoint for all user. It's like equivalent to having email. But you don't know which user is uh, is behind. Of course, you could uh, you could ask uh, here at the, at that point of time when you capture it. Hey, can you give me your email as well? Blah blah blah. You can do that. I didn't I didn't do it, it so that you. But if you do that, you may be able to link. That you will be able to link the email and the endpoint. But it's not very useful at this at this stage. So next step is to send notification to all those people. So how to do that? We go back to uh, to the um, to the second function that I created, the send web notification. Our send web notification, it's here, okay. And basically, what are we doing for for this one? So every time you need to uh, require and use the correct library of Minishlink, as that's uh, that's uh, that's, uh, that's the first uh, the first point. Then the send web notification is here. So basically, for notification, you have a title, you have a message, you have an icon. Um, and you have a badge also. The badge is the one that will appear at the top left of your uh, of the smartphone, and and that that was not natively done. And uh, because I, I I get inspired by many uh, uh, websites already who explain how to do web notification. But what is important for me is what when there is this notification, the user will be should be able to click on the notification and go on the website you want. Okay. That's that, for me. That's very, that's the most important thing. Okay, so that's why I added the un, the unclick URL. Okay, the link. Okay, so send a notification. So we are going to uh, loop on all the endpoint equivalent of email. Okay, so all these. So we loop on it, and we are going to create uh, to create the um, the message okay the notification so you have to add your public key and private key the, your public key and private key you got you got it here okay so you have it already so of course i will not uh, I will not disclose uh, my private key here otherwise uh, you may be able to to send message to to my uh, to my user okay and then after you just use the the function in the library called send one notification okay you put the title you put the message icon image the badge okay um, and the unclick url so we create this this matrix this uh, json json file and then this is this is sent to the to the service worker service worker is this file okay so you need to deploy. You see, you need to deploy those functions. You put it wherever you want, okay? Even in a, in an yeah. And the server, you need to you need to deploy it, but you need to create your own your own table, okay? Of course, for testing purpose, you can remove the table and everything. And then you have this um, this service worker. So basically, this server this service worker is doing two things. Number one, it will receive from so this is this run on client side, okay? So this service worker receive the notification from my server, from my actual server, you know, from this function which is send notification, okay? Send web notification. So this will be sent to the service worker, okay? Okay. The 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 link between both are here. Okay, when you register here, there will be this this one. Okay, so this is where it's linked between the two uh, the function and the file. Okay, so here there is a listener. Okay, this is JavaScript as well, and it will receive information. Okay, and you you can see that everything is native for every new browser. Okay, Chrome, uh, Edge, etc., and all the information that I've sent. Okay, will be received received. And shown the native one, body, icon, image, 
and badge. Okay, the image is a big image that you've seen at the beginning. Okay, the icon is a small icon, but still on the on the window. And the badge is for the for, for the smartphone. It's at the top left. This is a monochrome 96 by 96. Okay, so this will be my actual server. Okay, running uh, on a Ubuntu uh, server, etc. It's an Apache server. So send the notification to this service worker that is that run on client side but preview knowing uh, that uh, the notification has been uh, granted okay and that's it the pop-up will be shown the notification will be shown, shown everywhere now the question is how how to manage the click so this is another another uh, event it's not the push event here this is a notification click event and this one you need to add a listener as well okay and how it how it works basically it will open way you can see here clients dot open window on click url okay the um, the data that have been uh, i use the static data actually between the two uh, between the two function when you when we listen and when we show the, the notification i will store into a, a global variable here the static data so that so that i can reuse it in this static data you have uh, you have the url the on click url url and you have uh, all the other information but the one that I, that i need is this one the on click url so i will just open the window why all this stuff here it's just in case the window is already open the same window etc we don't reopen it but you can you can remove all the stuff and you can just add a uh, client open window uh, that's it okay so that's um, so that's uh, so that's it let's have a look at the um, at the, the, the debugger the console.log on, uh, on javascript to see what happened when i click on a link actually maybe i don't need to do it because i already clicked just uh, just a few minutes ago okay ready so i generate again okay i receive it on my smartphone i heard the vibration here you can see Okay, and I'm going to click on it. Okay, and if I just go back, so it has opened a window. If I go back to the debugger to see what has happened. Here I click and uh, you can see here on notification click. So it has captured the event of, uh, of the click. And then you have all the information here. Uh, again with the title excel that you can uh, for me i just want to open the window but you could do uh, many other things just by uh, at the when there is this action of clicking okay you could sell a product you could do whatever you want okay so that's it guys um i will add everything on my uh, on my github uh, i think it's a very very interesting and innovative and efficient way to send uh, impression to your uh, to your clients um, probably much better than um, than email given that we um, we don't have to uh, retrieve uh, email from user we are not going if, when we send email we get spammed most of the time uh, that, that's my that, that's my case we don't have to ask for uh, um, the phone number you know so we are not uh, it's better than broadcasting to whatsapp or telegram or whatever um, it's probably better than a group on telegram because uh, the users usually deactivate the notification on telegram and he and here you can be as specific as you want it means you can really build a system where you send only the appropriate um, uh, notification to the user that that are interested in it means my table here it's pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty simple this is just the beginning but you can imagine that in the future depending on the choice of the user then they will only subscribe to a certain type of notification okay uh, that's it guys tell me what you think i wish you a very happy day bye bye